Turning our focus to Colombia, where anti-government protests continue for the third week, the ongoing protests have had an impact on all aspects of life, from increasing food and fuel prices to now even football. The Union of Colombian Footballers called on authorities to halt all domestic matches due to the political unrest in the country. This as Colombia and Argentina are set to host the Copa America in just a month. Four games in Continental Cup competitions were earlier moved to other countries last week due to the protests. Hours after the union's appeal, a Copa Libertadores match in the city of Barranquilla was halted several times as players were affected by tear gas fired outside the stadium. The first took more than an hour to complete and players were even removed from the pitch due to the effects of the gas. This is not the first game halted by the protests. In an appeal to the Colombian Football Federation, the league and their own clubs asked games in domestic tournaments be postponed until public order was restored. In an open letter, the union also said that professional footballers stand with Colombians who are demanding a better country. Como se están presentando hechos que trascienden la capacidad de control del Estado de parte de un grupo de personas que tienen sus propios intereses agrediendo, haciendo eh, los gases el día miércoles, el jueves en Barranquilla, les pedimos, eh, por favor, no programen partidos en estas condiciones, porque los jugadores están expuestos, relataron cómo van a los entrenamientos, cómo muchas veces debido a los bloqueos no pueden hacerlos, realizarlos. Meanwhile, residents in the Colombian city of Cali, the epicenter of protests against the government, are struggling. Road blockades by demonstrators have tripled food prices and made gasoline scarce. The city, known for its salsa dancing, has more confirmed deaths than any other in the protests which began late April. Pues en este momento lo que más queremos es que haya, digamos, una concertación entre el gobierno y lo que se está solicitando por parte de los ciudadanos. Siento que todos dos, tan, todas dos partes necesitan encontrar una forma de, de hallar un convenio para que haya un buen corredor humanitario en donde pueda abastecerse la ciudad de alimentos y también de combustible. Por supuesto que no pueda faltar todos los insumos médicos para que se pueda hacer el frente a, al COVID que hoy estamos viviendo también. Protests had originally erupted against a new tax reform, which has since been cancelled. But protests expanded to demand basic income, an end to police violence, education and jobs, among other things. At least 42 people are said to have been killed in the protests so far.